Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art Channel. Today I'll be demonstrating how I created this painting using the flip cup method. I did a little, my own little twist on it. Uh, I think it's a, a lot of fun and I'm going to definitely experiment with it again. Um, I hope you enjoy. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more and enjoy. Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back. I am excited to get back to painting again after my uh, long vacation. Um, and I thought, I dreamed up an idea. I'm going to do a kind of a twist on a flip cup. I have cut some notches into this um, paper cup. And I'm going to fill it up and flip it. And hopefully uh, these little notches will allow the paint to come out um, and create a bit of a pattern. I'm not sure what that once I pull the cup up what the center is going to look like. So I've got my uh, Ceramax Smack Stick my, uh, to wreck some lines. I've got a balloon to uh, balloon dip the center. To, I'm not sure what that's, what's going to happen, but I'm hoping to create some really interesting lines as it, it drains out of that cup. So uh, to show you my colors, I have Amsterdam Titanium White. I have Amsterdam Azo Orange. I have Golden's uh, Deep Turquoise, I have Liquitex Basics Violet Deep, and Amsterdam's Turquoise Green. So a nice tropical color scheme. Uh, and I plan on layering this like a sandwich pour. So I'm going to start with a little bit of white in the bottom, like so, and then I think I'm going to go with the Violet Deep. Instead of um, pouring it down the side or layering like a dirty cup, I'm going to pour very slowly so that I can just stack the layers on top of each other in the cup. Like that. And orange on top of the Violet. My canvas is a 16 by 16 inch canvas, which means that um, at this consistency, I need about nine ounces of paint. This is a 12 ounce cup. I won't be able to fill it all the way up because of the notches, uh, but that should still be plenty of paint. But I have some white paint, I'll have some white paint left over so that I can um, use it as a flow extender if needed. I am putting uh, an isolation layer of white in between the two warm colors so that these blues and the, the violets and oranges don't create mud. Once again, I was excited to get started, so I forgot to show you my paint consistency, but I'll do that here in a moment. Okay, it looks like I might be able to do two layers here. That's awesome. Okay, so there's the cool colors and the warm colors. We'll do a second layer just like that. And let's switch it up a little bit, though. Let's do the orange first this time. rainy season here in Costa Rica and my studio has a tin roof so <laughs> you get to listen to the rain while I'm pouring here if I'm not playing music right now I'm gonna go ahead and use up all of this paint and a little isolation coat Sorry that I don't have clear cups to um, to show you this in, so you can watch it layer.
and I thought it was easiest to cut through a paper cup. Okay. And then the last color. Cover that with some more white. Just cover that the rest of the way up. There we go. All right. Well, I used most of my white in that cup, so hopefully I don't need a flow extender. Actually, I have some of the violet over there. I could use that. Okay. Uh, when I flip my cups, I like to tuck my elbow in against my body to give my arms some stability. I hold the cup on the bottom um, and I hold the sides gently. I'm not squeezing. Cutting, these, uh, cutting the rim has uh, made it a little wobbly, so I don't want to um, crush the cup. So I'm just going to count to three. One, two, three. Just like that. Spread that out a little better. some pressure. I am going to have to poke a hole. I have a giant push bin here. I'm just going to poke a hole right here in the top. Allow some air to come in. There we go. See those colors coming? Still seeping out, so I'm going to let that happen. But I think it's done. I think I'm going to give it a little bit of a twist here as I pull it up. Oh, interesting. That a quick torch. Fun. Okay. Let's go ahead and put down some flow extender. I need to thin that out though. I'm using this flow extender because I love what I, the, the patterns I created and as I spin this out I'll lose a lot of that as it rolls over itself, trying to go over this dry canvas. As Gina DeLuca says, something has to stick to the canvas, and I'd rather it be my flow extender than my composition.
think I am going to wreck this a little bit. This is kind of a solid patch of bloom there in the center. So I think I'm going to follow this swirl right here. Let me start right here. But I think some more colors are going to come up, so we're going to give that a quick spin and see how that shifts. Oh, wow. I love that. So pretty. the negative space up there. I think I'm going to leave it. Very cool. I just need to do that my sides over there. Look at those beautiful lines. Wow. So pretty. Let me wash my hands. So here is the result of my notched flip cup. I think it's pretty cool. I love the lines. Um, I love the gradient of color that, uh, that I got. Um, I actually really, really like the negative space. I'm glad I used that violet. Um, the swirl in the center adds a lot of visual interest. And, uh, but these lines that having the notch in the cup created 
are just beautiful. I love creating new ways to make lines like that. Look at those layers of lines, so pretty. And the orange and the blue pretty much stayed separate, so I didn't get any mud. Just lots of really clean, beautiful, thin lines. Look at that right there. Mmm. So pretty. And coming up here, that almost looks like a seashell or something. So pretty. I love the little lines in that too. And the interesting cells that came up. This one too. Almost like a almost like a flower petal, I guess. Um I was hoping it would be a little more centered, but I actually really like the way it turned out, so uh, I will have to give this another try. I think I like it. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more, and come back and see me sometime.